it's time for the hoedown! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> if other hobbies leave you in the lurch, you can always break out your chisel and carve yourself a perch. That's right, you can carve a marble or a granite. Just go ahead and have at it. <laughs> you may spend a couple hours cleaning off the sediment from that age-old fallen pediment. But once you have done it, you will notice with ease that it's one of them Grecian frees. Well, you know, carving is lots of fun. It's cheaper to buy the rocks by the ton. I like it when I'm carving when I'm alone. But I find it's a lot easier when I am stone. Everybody chisel your marble, chisel with ease. Chisel your marble, please. Chisel your marble, chisel it right down. When you're sculpting, you won't wear, you won't wear a frown. Chisel your marble, that's all I can say. Take the stone out of it every day. You can make just anything you want. Chisel your marble, chisel it right down. Yes, very good. Hey. Out on the prairie, it's real dry. We don't know why. We wait for it to rain and so we can take a dive. We put on our masks and put on our tanks and dive right into the dirt. And then when we hit our heads on a rock, damn, it really hurts. Woo! I like to put on real tight clothes and then go underwater. But every time I get there, I wonder if I order. Cause then I see lots of things. They're swimming, swimming fish. And they make me talk black fish. I love all the fishies, all the sharkies too. When I see one come towards me, I swim like you. I love all the friends down there, hey, don't you know? There's a friend of mine, the very popular Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Okay, that's some fruity George Balanchine cowboy dancing. <laughs> I'm a scuba diver boy. I dive from pearls and I'll pick them up like toys. And when I'm deep and I really got no cares until I turn real blue, cause I ain't got no air. He's got no air. He's got no air. I'm gonna. Well, I'm a little kitty. You know my name is Tabby. My master feeds me too much. That's why my butt's so flabby. He put me on a diet. He tried to slim me down. He stuck me in the backyard and put me in the ground. I always feed my kitty the way a master should. In fact, I feed all the kitties in the neighborhood. They look at me kind of strange. Some are even bitter. I guess they figured out I'm feeding them kitty litter. I love to feed my kitten. I feed him from the fridge. I feed him flies and rats and little tiny midges. The problem is I'm blind. I've got eyesight like a mole. So sometimes I try to stuff the food in the wrong hole. <laughs> I got a sad story, it really is a pity I fed some bad poison, I fed it to my kitty I put it in a bowl, I laid it on his plate And now my kitty lost his life, he's got another age I work in a kitchen, I'm a short order cook Though you may not think it, I'm smarter than I look and Every morning when people come in and they want eggs and ham I don't feel like cooking, so I whack them with my frying pan. 
Oh, I have fun frying up some kitties. I throw them in the pan. I think it's kind of witty. I watch them sizzle and sizzle. Oh, boy, what fun. And I'm sure they won't stick because this pan is Teflon. <laughs> I have fun with fried foods, especially when it's really hot. I got all the fried foods in the world, and you have not. It's not as much, it doesn't sound quite feeble. I use all my hot food to burn Jeremy Beetle. <laughs> to fry a lot, I fry on my griddle. I get me big steaks, I fry them till they're little. I know it ain't good for me, but I just love it all. Cause sometimes when my veins fill up with that cholesterol. <laughs> chugga, 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 chug, I'm a washing machine. Chugga, 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 chug, I'll get your clothes real clean. You put in a bunch of quarters right there in the slot. And when you take the clothes out, they haven't finished the rent circle, they're still damp. Yeah! <laughs> Y'all dirt, I got clothes there all filthy dirty. I got all my shorts, I put them in my dirty. I boil them up with soap, I fill them up with sud. When they get all rinsed and squeezed out, then they're done. <laughs> Doing all your laundry can turn out to be fine. Just make sure that you have a lots and lots of time. Keep an eye out, always look at the clock. Take it out, why is it I'm always missing a sock? Yeah, boy! Yeah. I have myself a lady, she thinks I'm really keen. I take her to the laundromat, have sex in the washing machine. And when you can come over, and maybe you can try her, just get yourself a lady and get Get her in the dryer. I put on my skis and I look like a dope. I'm going down the hill, which is also called a slope. I feel really good when I'm doing the giant slalom. I can't ever do it right, but that's why my name's Nollum. <laughs> Drinking coffee and skiing can be a lot of fun. When you're heading down that long ski run, it can be really fun, don't you, don't you know? But the best part is riding with pee pee in the snow. My girlfriend, once she started to ski with a branch, then she was swallowed up by an avalanche. It really is quite ugly, it really is sublime. But now when I see slopes, you know, I'll pine. <laughs> I'm a little yuppie, you know I like to ski I take my beamer to the slopes Just me, my wife, and Mr. Simi And when I get the ski, you know it's just a dodge What I really like to do is pick up chicks in the lodge When I first did meet you, I wanted to give you a whirl Too bad that you were not a girl Now that all has changed, and I thank my lucky star That you went to Denmark yeah. I tell you one thing, I think it's kind of hip. Now that I'm a guy, I never wax my lip. Ever since I just took my brand new testosterone, I've discovered that I've got myself a brand new bone. My friends no longer know me, they think that things have changed. All my parts have been rearranged. They don't know me any longer. Since they cut off my willy <laughs> I have a little boy, you know his name is Tom I was his daddy, but now I am his mom I was a tough one, as tough as old Charles Bronson Until I went to the hospital and they cut off my Johnson I love to ride my Harley, I ride it day and night I drive all through the neighborhood to give the kids a fright. It may seem kind of stupid, it may seem kind of fun, but they always freak out when I dress up like a nun. I like to ride my Harley, I like to ride it fast. I get my bitch on the back of me and I slap her ass. Sometimes we go fast, we hit our jaws. 
I don't give a good damn about the helmet laws. I like to ride my bike now, I think it's really slick. And it's the best way to pick up a chick. She gets on and waves and says all her bye-byes. There's nothing like hot metal between her thighs. Well, Harley Davidson's an awesome machine. Driving Kawasaki is for just a two-bit queen. I love to go riding round so manly in the dirt. And sometimes on the weekends I wear panties and a skirt. I used to masturbate a lot, I stopped it if you please. I found another hobby, I call it making cheese. I use a tiny goat, sometimes it will curdle. Cause when I wet skim milk, I got to put the goat in a girdle. I have a little cheese shop, I sell all kinds of cheese. Just come in with money, and I'll take it if you please. I sell from all kinds of nations, from here and from there, from here and there and there and here. I used to masturbate. <laughs> I like to eat my cheese with my best friend. We didn't eat and eat until the very end. I like to eat with my friend, don't you know he's Sam? After I'm done with cheese, I like to eat him. I've got a billion cheeses all around my house to entice my lover, which is a brownfield mouse. She is so darn happy, cause she's in love with me. When we make love, we make love in lots of warm runny brie. <laughs> to college, I wasn't very smart. I'd throw my hands up giving up at the very start. Every test I take, you know, you test it, would I fail? But it doesn't matter, cause I am Dan Quayle. <laughs> to take an exam. I studied very hard. I thought up very, very hard and put things on a card. I studied, studied, tried, tried, tried all my best. And then I went and realized it was a urine test. <laughs> oh, I love exams. They are so much fun. I love to take the paper and sit down on my bum. Oh, I am very smart. Oh, it might sound kind of silly, but I pass every test because I write notes right there in my willy. <laughs> I hate examinations. It fills me with such fear. I get the collie wobbles and lots of diarrhea. So if you are a student, don't care about the pain. Get through your exams by taking lots of cocaine. Oh, I hate going for haircuts. It really is a drag. Cause I think that my barber is a mighty hag. Every time I sit in the chair, I just say, damn my luck. Cause he always cuts my ear and then I yell out, darn. <laughs> To get a haircut I need to save up a few bob To get a nice neat one so I can get that new job But when I went in I came out a little bit queerer I hadn't been to the hairdresser, I'd been to the sheep shearer <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure of my barber, I think he's kind of strange. The way he likes to play with my hair, he always rearranged. I'm not sure about him, I don't think he's my kind of guy. But I can't complain when he likes to blow me dry. <laughs> I came to England, I met me a man. He was shiny and bald, his name was Clive Anderson. There was some confusion, I said, where's the freeway? He said, no, you silly twat, it's called a motor. Wait. <laughs> I 
I use the motorway each and every day. It really turns a lot like work, it really is not play. I got hit badly, and why do you suppose? I got rear-ended by a guy picking his nose. <laughs> Driving home from work can be lots of fun. Driving down the highway when your work is done. I love to watch the bugs as they splat against my glass. The last thing that grows through their mind is their big fat ass. I like the sound of motorways when things go splat. I look out my car window and I've run over a cat. The thing I really hate, the worst thing in my life is the stupid bastard who designed the M25. I went to my doctor's and he said to me, what you need is a vasectomy. <laughs> Gotta cut your balls off and put them in a jar. And then he took his head off and went, ha, 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 ha. I fight fires in Germany, they really are the worst. I now will do German in my next verse. Ich liebe dich, grüß dich, da matchen ill exploden. Oh, da jumpen, jumpen, all the trampolinen. Some people think it's a really lousy job, but I love the fact working around somebody's knob. Everybody thinks that it's a job that really stinks, but I save up all the spare parts and I make out cuffa links. <laughs> The doctor went to work that day, he started right down there. He slipped around my tezzies and around my pubic hair. And for that job, I'm very grateful. Yes, I do give thanks. Cause now every time I make love, I'm always shooting blanks. I was riding my donkey up a stony pass. I fell off <laughs> onto the grass. I saw a man and he helped me back on. That's why I sing this song. <laughs> I like to ride my donkey. I ride him all day long. He is very, 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 very strong. <laughs> I am a donkey. I love to haul the goods. I think that's the way every donkey should. As I am hauling, never without fail, someone comes and pokes a pin right in my tail. <laughs> I love my fluffy donkey. I like to call him Clive. I dress him up in panties. He's the best animal alive. I like to dress him up in lots of frilly clothes. And the two of us begin to star in certain videos. <laughs> Such a crazy dream. I'd like to be a movie star up there on the screen. But I'll never be a movie star. No, 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 no. Cause I'm too busy snugging on the backbone. <laughs> I love film. I could watch them all night. I like watching them when I'm in flight. The ones on the aeroplanes, well, the screen is too small. But that's all right, don't bother me. I've only got one ball. <laughs> I am the person that people want to kill. Don't really mind, to me it's kind of a thrill. I'm used to it now, to me it's nothing new. Cause I'm the guy that comes in and sits in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a film the other day, it wasn't very good It starred something that looked like a plank of wood I looked a little closer, I must have been going insane It wasn't a plank of wood at all, it was Michael Caine Well, I love Christmas, I wish it was every day I love Christmas, do you hear what I say? Sometimes I go up and sometimes I go down did you know there was a man called Coco the Clown? <laughs>
I love my Christmas, I love it every year. Cause I shove food in my mouth, I grin ear to ear. My cholesterol is high and... I really love Christmas, it's better than the rest. When it comes to holidays, you know it is the best. I like to celebrate, I guess I know how it goes. That's why I prefer to sleep with a reindeer with a red nose. I like Father Christmas, you know he's hell of a man. I try to see him once a year as often as I can. When he comes, I do all the locks. And he comes down the chimney and he fills up my socks. Hey, love, it's nothing but baloney. I'd rather be with my little pony. Trickin' up the hillside, trickin' down the course. I love my pony, I also love my horse. Hey, 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 hey. Pony trekking on the holiday program. I like drawing pictures where I go and even diagrams. I like going on ponies and bashing them with bricks. It doesn't really hurt me, but it makes them go much faster. <laughs> hey, pony round up in the summertime. Pony round up in the summertime. I take them left and right on path, and then I take them to the osteopath. Pony! <laughs> <laughs> I like to go a trickin' in the country on my pony. I'm very friendly with the critter. I say hello, I'm Tony. And then I get the, oh look out, there's something nasty in the way. It's not a pony, Dumpy. It is Mr. Anderson's toupee. Oh, I'm a Randy Bugger. I really get around. I like to have a shag with everyone in town. I have lots of fun. I'm as happy as can be. And that's cause my name is Tony Slattery. <laughs> I love making love. I do it every day. My girlfriend's a contortionist. We do it every way. It's really quite remarkable the ways that she can bend. She also is a psychic. She foresaw her own end. <laughs> <laughs> Living in the country, there's really not much to do. I love to grab anything and have a real good screw. I guess it's really bad, I guess it's kind of sad, but my girlfriend looks at me and says, hey, you're not bad. <laughs> I'm a little kinky, my panties are made of fur I like to stay in evenings, just me and my cucumber And then I pull my pants down and start to paint my tush And dress up in leather and squat on Barbara Bush I dance underwater, I do a coral jig I live there with my friend, a tiny inflatable pig Wearing a rubber suit, that is my fervent wish I scuba dive all day long so I can have sex with fish Woo! Three feet under, I'm in the water here I've got my mask on and feeling good, oh dear I'm nuzzling up to fishes, I'm on the deep blue sea I can't have enough fun like Jacques Cousteau, you see Ha ha! <laughs> I'm not very good at swimming, I hope that I don't drown And if I do, I hope that sooner or later my body's found I think I'm going there now, my vision's getting soft Where the hell when you need them is David Hasselhoff <laughs> I like my scuba diving kit, my pleasure never ends As long as I don't surface quickly, then I get the bends I get all my friends and my uncles and aunties And the most important equipment is my waterproof panties Last night I waited, I waited all night long I waited for my boyfriend, I sang a little song Where in the hell are you darling dear? But he didn't turn up, so I'm still waiting here Oh, I 
I met a girl I really, really liked. I hoped that she'd come over, but she wouldn't. Can you believe it? <laughs> Dude, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. No call. No phone call. When it comes to girls, I seem to have some kind of hex. I can never get what I want, and that is sex. I just uh, run around and scream and I rant. I guess I should just pay money like my friend Hugh Grant. <laughs> I waited in the restaurant, I waited just all night I drank so much whiskey, I began to get quite tight And then no one turned up in the end, and I thought, oh no And then I kissed a Labrador, and then I... <laughs> I like trick-or-treating, I go from door to door I ask for candy, ask for sweets, and then I ask for more Sometimes they give me lots of rocks and bugs But I do not care, cause I trick-or-treat on drugs <laughs> I'm so glad that Halloween is finally here Cause Halloween's my favorite time of the entire year I dress up and give all the kids an awful fright I really don't know why I'm not wearing a mask tonight <laughs> Last Halloween there was terrible blizzard It was caused by a nasty old wizard He looked at his window and caused a fearful spell And when I woke up in the morning I did smell <laughs> Halloween can be such a special night it's a chance you get to run around and scare and fright When people open the door, oh boy, do they run That's because every year I dress as Clive Anderson I used to like the booze, I used to like the chicken But now I get my kicks going out toad licking I go out to the desert and find myself a frog And lick it psychedelic back till I'm high as a dog <laughs> store there's just a big cactus and not very much more but the agave i tell you gives the juice you put it in let it ferment it really cuts you loose <laughs> And then I cut it off. Drinking lots of liquor can go right to your head. Well, one day I drank so much that I woke and I was dead. I, oh, drinking, it really takes some nerve, but at least I'm dead. Hey, I am well preserved. When I was a young man, I went to my friend's house for tea. But he was growing up too fast, he was going through puberty. He had hairs on his top lip and underneath his arms. His mother came in and caught us kissing and joined in. <laughs> going gray. I really, really do. I really, 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 please don't misconstrue. To many it's a source of consternation, but I'm quite happy with my hair pigmentation. <laughs> starting to happen to me way below my belt it's the strangest thing that i have ever felt i turn out the lights and i play with my crotch every night when i watch all the girls on bay watch i always like to bite my nails it makes me feel so good i always like to bite my nails oh i know i should i sometimes get a bit of dirt right between my teeth makes
makes me feel just great to bite my nails just for me. <laughs> to bite some nails, I really, really do. I bite them, bite them, bite them, and then I shout yahoo! I bite them here, I bite them there, right down to the bone. But I never, never, never bite my own. There's one thing I really shouldn't do. It's my nails that I love to chew. Day after day, I can't stop. What a twist. I've chewed off all my fingers. Now I'm nibbling on my wrist. I really like to chew my nails. I do it all night through. And then when I finish, I say to myself, you. And then I go and get myself ice cream with raspberry ripple. And after that, I begin to suck and swallow my own nipples. Life is very fickle from birth to the tomb but I remember one day when I came out of the womb I came out of spluttering and covered in green mush the first thing that I heard was push 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 I am being born and heading out the womb I am being born I'm coming just too soon My son was born the other day. It really was exciting, really, really in a big way. I looked at him there with his great big smile. I didn't know I had him upside down all the while. All I really feel is a doctor's hands on my bum. He's pulling really hard and I'm afraid, here I come. I want to stay where I am, don't want to leave that tube. Hey, but since I'm out here, give me some of that big old boob. I went up the Eiffel Tower just the other day. I threw off myself, my braces and they swayed. I went down and I went up and down and up again. I went up down so fast, I ended up in Big Ben. <laughs> My girlfriend said, Greg, you want a thrill? She took me to a bridge at the bottom of a hill. She tied a cord to my back and I ran out of luck. Cause when she pushed me off it, I just yelled out, wow. <laughs> Jump off bridges, it's really lots of fun But I'm in a lot of pain when the day is done I don't have a cord, but you never hear me blubber I can still go up and down, my penis is made of rubber Tory politicians, they really are a drag Bumming common people, that just ain't my bag But I am a waffler and a total prat So next election I will vote Liberal Democrat <laughs> No one likes our party, they think we're full of shit We're divided over Europe and most of us are split We're going off on holiday, I do not really care The feel-good factor's coming soon, its name is Tony Blair hey. <laughs> is very strange, it confuses me a lot. There's Tories, Liberals, Whigs and others put me on the spot. They do things very strange. <laughs> Being in power can loom really large. 
Seems everyone wants to really be in charge. People who want power will do anything on a dare. As a matter of fact, that's why Clive ripped out all his hair. I know something, it works just a treat. It got rid of my smelly feet. I washed them with my mouth and they smell just like roses. Unfortunately, though, it's given me halitosis. <laughs> Suddenly I smelt my boyfriend's feet were cheesy So I looked down at his little toes And I took a hammer and I put it up his nose <laughs> My breath really smells bad My feet have a pong I really smell bad It is all wrong It's horrible, it's horrible And there is quite a link because of my feet stinking, seven species are extinct. What's that? That smells so bad, a lion on the beach. It's so smelly feet and they're within reach. I will take a big night off and cut them off just for a lark. Throw them in the water, they're food for a shark. I'm scared of spiders and animals too. So I really freak out when I'm at the zoo. But the things that scare me most of all, and occasionally now and then, are those great big tall long liggy things they call women. <laughs> First made love to a girl called Sheila. When we made love, she proved to be a bit of a squealer. But I was scared, but there isn't anything finer than to see her, because she's from Asia Minor. <laughs> I'm afraid of women, especially at night. They always come towards me, they give me such a fright. They're leathery and small and their wings get in my hair. Oh, wait a minute, it's not women, it's vampire bats. I, oh. My girlfriend's kind of special, she's one of a kind. Down in Soho is where I did fine. When I put my mouth on her, she really starts to blubber. I guess that's what you get from a girl made of rubber. I went to my grandmother's just the other week. She greeted my door and gave my nipple a tweak. She's always doing that to me when my back is turned. Last week she opened a coal shed and there was a milker. <laughs> I love my grandmother, cause she is very nice. I go and see her on Sundays and she gives me some advice. Like always use a biro and never shave your legs. And tomorrow she's teaching me how to suck eggs. I have a mobile phone, it is really neat. It dials and calls and washes my feet. It expands and grows and turns into a plane. It really is great. my grandmother and when the day ends I discover that we are a bit more than friends <laughs> the teeth right off her gums. Hi, ich bin ein German. My name is Helmut Kohl. And you know, kids, I really, really like to rock and roll. I like to go to America. It's where I get my kicks. Because President Clinton knows all the easy chicks. <laughs> Welcome to World Leaders. My name is David Frost. I'm bringing you World Leaders, no matter what the cost. I'm a sort of world leader. I'm a pleasant kind of fella, but I'm an even nicer bloke. My name's Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I'm a world leader. I hate democracy because you know I'm a dictator, you see. I'm going to make people march to and fro and back. The best thing about being dictator is I look good in black. <laughs> One
once I ruled Israel with an iron hand. I was the best leader in all of the land. Sure, I was rich, but no one lived in fear. I've got silver in my pocket and gold in my ear. I am nine months pregnant. I tell you that it hurts. Every year I pop out a couple of little squirts. But when I go into the room to have those little drugs, oh, <laughs> Failing is one of the major parts of television. <laughs> uh, if we may, I'll pick it up. <laughs> oh, I'm a little baby. I live inside my mummy. In a couple months' time, I'll come out of her tummy. When I'm grown, I will run around on rugs. But so she doesn't cry, I hope she takes a lot of drugs. <laughs> should be given to men cause when I had mine I killed my OBGYN hey having a baby it makes me want to beg cause nothing's more painful than seeing that thing drop through your leg there's nothing more beautiful in this great big earth than watching a wife giving birth just seeing it me with ecstasy. The thing I liked best was, thank God it wasn't me. Watching a baby come out can be really neat. I pull up a chair and I sit right down at her feet. They've called the police on me, so I'm heading out the door. Apparently because it, she's never seen me before. <laughs> I'm a western boy, I like my pants real tight I like them long and lean and fitting just right When I slip them on, they feel so nice and coolie Especially when they've lynched me up and I'm pressed up against my ghoulies <laughs> I think pasta is religious. In fact, I think it's holy. I cover myself in marinara and pads of ravioli. I sometimes clean al dente with using it like floss. And sometimes I stir it in my pants to make the special sauce. Oh. I love wearing pants that are very, very tight. I wear them My circulation, but I don't. <laughs> when I go out clubbing, my pants are mighty tight. Sometimes it gets me in many, many fights. Everybody looks at me, they go, you son of a gun, but I'm not actually wearing any, they're just painted on. I've been having problems with me and my failure, so we went to see a marriage counselor. Her name was Helen, she was very nice, now I live with her instead, and my life is full of spice. Sex are very similar to me. Um, I just can't make them. Uh, whatever I do, or whatever I try to, I find the best way is to fake them. I've, I've been to that Ann Summers shop. I've been in every branch. The only way I can really get it off is with Richard Branch. <laughs> I'm a great blue whale and I live under sea. I'm having problems with my wife and me. She always talks about old boyfriends, it really makes me sick. Well, how the hell can I compare to a guy named Moby Dick? <laughs> I live in the U.S., married a girl from the South. She's always screaming, got a really big old mouth. She comes out a-swinging, a-screaming, and a-fussing. I guess that's what you get when you marry your sister's brother's cousin. Yes, my brother got married. 
His name is Gromit. And when he walked down the aisle, I began to vomit. <laughs> the vicar cleared it up and put it under the cake. And at the wedding reception, we all sat and, and ate cake flake. Very near. Is that it then? <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mr. I believe in marriage, I think it is a treat And on the day I married, I looked so very neat But a couple years later, I began to cry It made me totally sick because my name is Lady Di <laughs> I hate weddings, they make me really sick Just looking at them makes me go ick ick I really just hate them, I hate them all the time You know what I hate most of all? Greg just took my rhyme I make the wedding dresses in my special way I make them for those pretty girls on their special day But sometimes I get angry and I make such a fuss When I lift up the dress and find the bride's got a penis Oh, I'm a tiny Martian, I'm green and full of mirth I have one mission only, to dominate the earth I'll give you a new leader, and he won't take no jive He's got no neck, his hair is bald, and his name is Clyde problem Houston I don't have the right stuff I'm not going to space now to look for stuff that they make fluff out of <laughs> dance break <laughs> my wife and I are astronauts and we need information we've been made to have some sex upon the old space station we did it and wouldn't you know we got into a bad fight hey is it my fault that I'm faster than the speed of light? I fly around space, all around the clock. It's my job, because my name is Dr. Spock. Sometimes I get bored on a three-year tour, but I make it easier by sleeping with or whore. Hey! I'm in England, I love to watch the telly I like to watch cricket, but it looks really smelly There are these guys, flying around in white What the heck are they doing? Hey, room service, give me a bite I'm a cricket player, I stand upon the pitch I wait for the ball to come, and then I give it a switch When the game is over, I retire for a beer and I know what you're thinking, and no, we're not. <laughs> I hate watching cricket. How do they do that play? It seems to run and run and run. It goes on for 50 days. It takes so long, it takes so long. It really is a crime. In the time it takes to play cricket, I can make love 455 times. <laughs> to the cricket match with the pretty girl. I really don't like the game, but hey, let's give it a whirl. I sit there and make fun, oh boy, I pick it, until she leans over and grabs my sticky wicket. When I go to sleep, I have nightmares all the time. I have this weird dream, I'm covered in lime. And a giant licks me really, really hard. And by the time he's finished, I've turned to a lump of lard. <laughs> I have lots of nightmares and I try to be brave I'm covered in Vaseline with my mom in a cave <laughs> Then in the morning I wake up from a chance And in there in my bed is Colin in my pants <laughs> I go to sleep, I go to sleep each night. And when I have a horrible dream, it gives me quite a fright. I've had a carnival and that big cotton candy I've won. I eat it, eat it, when I wake up, I find my pillow's gone. <laughs> When 
I go to sleep at night, you know my biggest fear That walking around my room is some sort of creature <laughs> When I go to sleep, I'm so afraid of the dark. <laughs> then one night I turned on the lights just for a lark. Ah, right before me is a really ugly creature. <laughs> then I realized that I'm looking in the mirror. I like doing hoedowns, especially in space. I do them with antennas, I do them with lots of grace. But tonight is really special, and I'll buy all the beers. Cause I'm doing a space hoedown next to Norm from Cheers. <laughs> Problem Houston, I don't have the right stuff. I'm not going to space now to look for stuff that they make fluff out of. <laughs> Dance break! <laughs> I am an astronaut, my last trip was a pip. I was captured by some aliens and put upon their ship. They put me in the corner, then they made me disrobe. Let me tell you, nothing hurts more than a Martian probe. <laughs> it's just me and another guy floating around space. Just to break the boredom, sometimes he wears lace. Houston knows about it, but they never make a fuss. Unless they catch me circling around his Uranus. When I was a schoolboy, my teacher said to me, I'm gonna teach you golf. This is called a tee. You put the ball on it and swing very hard, but make sure you use a club and not a piece of lard. <laughs> <laughs> you stunned me. Uh, uh, I'm next to Colin Mockery. He really is a chum. Before we shoot the program, he lets me pat his bum. But when we go out golfing, it really makes me sick. Because he always asked me to grab onto his stick. <laughs> what am I, a genius? Playing golf, I play it all the time. Though the way I play it, some think it is a crime. My golfing instructor told me it was lots of fun. When he stepped in front of me, whoops, hole in one. When I go golfing, we always bet a buck. And my friend kisses me, he kisses for good luck. I'm not saying I'm aroused, cause he is just a friend. But when he smooches me, it makes my putter stand on end. I was in the courtroom just the other day. And the jury, I began to sway. I was doing my final speech, it was going really well. When the judge fell asleep, bloody hell! <laughs> needed to hire an assistant. I saw a girl outside and she was awfully persistent. She came in and told me all her legal beliefs. Later on I fell asleep and she went through my briefs. <laughs> Tense. I really thought it was awful, I felt like such a bad sport, but luckily they couldn't make it stand up in court. I made a big mistake and I stole the car. Cops pulled me over before I got too far. I know I'll get convicted and go to the pen, cause I'm being represented by Clive Anderson. Oh, I love the lottery, it makes me so excited. And if I were to win it, I'm sure I'd be delighted. 
But every time I go to the shop, it is just a drag. I see the shopkeeper and I have to give him a shag. <laughs> so I get excited. I just won the lottery, my lucky number six. Having won the lottery, I'm gonna pick up loads of chicks. I'm gonna take them out and take them for dining and then I'll have fun with them all. I can't wait to see the smile on their face when I see my bonus ball. <laughs> I'd be one happy clown Cause then I would hire someone To do this whole down So if I, what I say isn't funny And you're vexed Don't worry cause Ryan's coming up with funny He's next I hope to win the lottery With a lot of luck Boy when I go crazy I'd probably even <coughs> change it all, I'd keep my same old life. Sure, I'd go to the whorehouse and maybe kick out my wife. I'm a girl, as you can see. I love to travel to lots of countries. I've been to Thailand, I got there for free. Yes, I have been everywhere, but I've never been to me. I'd like to say howdy to everyone right here Cause I come from America and I'm not from here But if you come to my place, I'm sure you'll find it's hot There's drugs and sex and beaches and you might get shot <laughs> Canada. We got mountains galore. We got people who sleep soundly. You'll never hear them snore. We got seas and planes and things and things and things and things and things. And everyone, everyone, sing better than this. <laughs> Every year in England, when it starts to rain, my wife and I go away on a big old train. When it comes to sex, I think that I'm the best, but she likes to refer to me as the Orient Express. When I am in England, I'll have a cup of tea. I'll drink a cafe latte when I'm in Italy. But when I'm in America, I have lots of luck. I order coffee from a fast food place, but it's hot as I like my java as hot as lava. I have 50 cups as the day passes. But I don't feel real up unless I take 12 cups and shove them up my ass. <laughs> I really, really do. I really don't know what to do. I really don't do. I give the caffeine back to me. I really don't know what to do. But you know, I drink it. I really like it. I deserve that. <laughs> Lattes and cappuccinos, I really can't see. I like black coffee and everyone laughs at me. When I order, they think I have some class. Why don't they take that espresso machine and shove it up their ass? I'm independent counsel, my name is Kenneth Starr. I hunt for suspects everywhere, both near and so far. I hunt for secretaries and the president's wife. The reason that I'll do all this is I have no life. There's plenty of reasons to be commander-in-chief To help the people or give social relief To do something that might help the world Or, of course, you could just do it to get the girls <laughs> The country's gone to pot. The president's having lots of sex while I am not. <laughs> I think it's really horrible. It's really quite a sin. Why don't we hire a celibate like Wilt Chamberlain? <laughs> Thank you.
I think we have the best president that I've ever seen. The way his sexy voice sounds, I think he's really keen. A lot of people think he's a crook, they think something's amiss. Of course, what do I know? I'm just a stewardess. I love to sing like Colin. I really, really do. I really, 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 really do. And when I sing like Colin, it makes me have great joy because I... Well, there is a man they call the king of whose line His soul is on fire and his mind is very fine He does a hoedown and he very rarely sucks Cause he is one talented for three challenge Canuck having fun they're singing all about me let's all laugh along with them ha 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 he he it really is amusing can't you all see look at them look at them of me they're making a mockery <laughs> Got to love Colin and love him to the end. I have to admit that he is my best friend. I would not lie to you, uh, this is no jive. Anyway, you look at it, he's still got more hair than Clyde. <laughs> are the one in shorts with sandals on their feet when i drive around i run them over in the street i do that for my town's own protection i am singing this song for the ignored section <laughs> crowd. I told them there's something and then they all cried. I ruined the movie, told them Bambi's mother died. <laughs> I hate it at the movies when all the kids scream. I have to admit that is really not my scene. But one thing's for sure, an usher I will not call. I just sit in front of them, I'm over six feet tall. I ordered a pizza on a movie date. And then I got so mad because that damn pizza was late. By the time it got there, it was frozen and I tried. I was so darn angry that I shot the pizza guy. I wanted a pizza, I was really hungry. I can't cook much, so I order, you see. When the pizza came, it was very cold, the cheese was hard and all, and the sausage was petrified. I was really mad. Oh! <laughs> Pizza, it's been three hours now. I'm getting really angry, just like a British cow. It really is upsetting. I'm going to really go. When he gives me my pizza, I won't give him his dough. <laughs> My uncle died yesterday, he owned a pizza place. Lying in the coffin, he looked peaceful with his face. Cooking pizzas was so fun, and his name was Sid. When I opened up the coffin, he was stuck to the lid. I'm in advertising, you know my name is Rick. And I am really groovy, cause I am not a brick. I sit up and sell you stuff, stuff that you don't need. 
because I have one motivation, and that's massive greed. Why don't you buy that stuff, you baby boomer? I know you've got lots of cash, you are a big consumer. Man, oh man, everything from cars to fast foods I sell. My biggest slogan, yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> I hate commercials, what a waste of time mm -hmm. They take up all the program, it really is a crime They seem to waste all the time in my precious life Thank God they're 60 seconds, then I can make love to my wife <laughs> I buy lots of products when I'm at home alone It's really, really easy, you order them by phone Not to order these things is really kinda hard But I never worry too much, I use Colin's credit card So there I am, I got a message in a bottle I'd won a free date with a tall supermodel She was about six foot five, but the date was really lame I didn't have a good time cause we played the crying game I used to hate blind dates, they never did work out They'd give me a kiss on the cheek and then they'd throw me out Nowadays my blind dates go off without a hitch I know I'm not good looking, but I'm really, really rich. I had a blind date. It really was the pits. Nothing worked all night. I kept getting hit. She really was abusive. Man, oh man, oh man, but what else can you expect when your blind date is Roseanne? <laughs> I had a blind date just the other night. The type of girl that really shouldn't be in the light. She wasn't really attractive, she was kind of bland. But she still beat the hell out of using my right I am losing my hair and it really is a pain I find out every morning when I see the shower drain But as you can see, it isn't quite for me But at least I'm not quite as bold as Colin Mockery <laughs> Oh man, it's like my rhyme. <laughs> I was gonna do that. <laughs> uh, I have all my hair and I really am quite happy. I like putting stuff in my hair, it makes me look real snappy. I love to comb my hair, I never need a breather. I'm real happy, I'm not calling my pre either. <laughs> Always kid me cause I'm losing all my hair. I can't really help it that I'm follically impaired. It really is quite horrible, but my life is not through. I still get way more sex than either Brad or Drew. <laughs> Losing all your hair isn't really that bad of a deal. A lot of women love just the way it feels. Just think of it as just a little more face. And you can rent it out as advertising space. Thank goodness for my mom that I was made. It was 27 years ago that my dad got <laughs> That's what you see upon closer inspection. I'm standing here cause he didn't use protection. <laughs>
is my wife. The other day she gave birth. It was the most beautiful thing on this God's earth. When I saw her do it, I said, oh my God, dear Ellen, looking from this angle looks like a straw passing a melon. <laughs> I came out of my mother at exactly 10 to 5. Everyone screamed and ran and yelled, it's alive. I can't really blame them, I guess it was kind of scary. Everyone tells me I resemble Drew Carey. When I went to med school, I was very proud. When I got my diploma, I yelled right out loud. I did an operation. And I did my part. His name was Newt Ginrich, and I removed his heart. I had an operation to take out my appendix. The name of my doctor was Dr. Bendix. I hope soon that I get out all my stitches. Cause let me tell you, brother, they hurt like sons of guns. I used to laugh like this, he he he. Not so since I've had some major surgery. It really went horrible, it realized all my fears. Because of that surgery, I now pee out my ears. <laughs> My brother needed surgery, but we both were broke. I took her to a veterinarian as a little joke. He never complained, I didn't hear a peep. So I thought, what the hell, and had him put to sleep. When I was growing up, my life was really fun. I was a latchkey kid, I was raised by reruns. All oh, this was deep in me, a gap need this to fill this. The thing I love to say was, what you talking about, Willis? Here's my story. Hope you don't think I'm a moron. But I like to watch TV without any clothes on. Sometimes it raises a fuss, raises up a storm. Cause I'm always watching it in the lounge in my dorm. <laughs> I went out and got a new TV. Just the thought of watching it filled me up with glee. But when I turned it on, you know, boy, I really lost it because the only thing it picked up was Veronica's closet. As an actor, there's nothing on TV. I think they should have a show about me. I don't think that's odd, I don't think that's real scary. And it'll happen when I murder Drew Carey. Got to pay your taxes to the government because you know each dollar is so very well spent. You have got to pay them, but here's a little switch. I never pay my taxes because I am so rich. You know I hate the IRS, they think that they're so tough. They said when I paid my taxes, I didn't pay enough. To check me out, they audited my mother and my sis. So I showed up naked at their door and said, hey, audit this! I live in Canada, there is no IRS. I still have to pay taxes, but I'm not that distressed. I owe 18,000, but please understand, I'm not that worried, cause that's five bucks American. Yeah! Singing about the IRS, a bell doesn't ring. You know I'm not very good when I have to sing. Singing these hoedowns on whose line you know But I don't really care cause I'm on another show I went down to my dealership, I tried to buy a car He tried to sell a lemon but he didn't get too far I found a lot of steals and I found a lot of deals And then I bought a Pinto but it didn't have no wheels Well I wanted a Chevy but I didn't want to get bored 
and then I thought, maybe a Mercury, maybe I'll get me a Ford. But when it came down to it, I didn't make a fuss, because I didn't have any money anyway, so I just take the bus. I met a car salesman, he didn't have no ethics. And I believed his every lie, it really was pathetic. He did horrible things that no good man ever should. I came home early, found him checking under my wife's hood. Oh boy, those German cars do, they cost big bucks. I look at the price tag and I am full of yucks. Oh, those Porsches more expensive than the others. Unless you're Jew, carry and get it free from Warner Brothers. I can't find my car keys, cause I'm so full of booze. I smell just like vodka, I just threw up on my shoes. I don't even know where I put my pants. So I'm just gonna wear a lampshade and run around and dance. Well, making up songs in a hoedown puts me to the test. And to tell you really frankly, I'm not at my best. I do better, I could really think, but ABC, well, they don't let me drink. The other day while playing golf, I had a lot to drink. As I reached the first tee, I could barely think. I hit the ball really hard, the guy is barely alive. Which just goes to prove, if you drink, don't drive. I got naked in a bar, I took off all my clothes. How I ever got that drunk, nobody knows. I passed out naked on the bar, I only had a sip. The waitress came to clean up and I said, keep the tip. I love the village people, now please don't get me wrong. I love YMCA, hey girl, that's my song. But you see, in Francisco's where they belong. And all them village people inspired me to wear my thong. I love the village people, they give me confidence. Even though I'm not too bright, I am rather dense. I have a fat white body, and I don't have a tan. But when I put on leather pants, I am a macho man. <laughs> About the village people, I have a lot of facts. Did you know they made a movie? Yes, they axed. It really is quite wonderful, I can't believe my eyes. If you laid them end to end, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I don't like the village, people think they're kind of rude. Don't you know their lyrics can be kind of crude? When it's on my stereo, I always hit the mute. But I'll have to admit, the Indian's kinda cute. I've got a message to all of you gals. I'm a sensitive man, so why can't we be pals? I know sometimes in the past I haven't treated you right. That's why I'm taking hormones. Boom, I'm a transvestite. Men can be quite mean, men can be quite bad. I bet you had a boyfriend, I bet he was a cad. I don't really like men myself, that I can tell. But my friend Ryan, well, he thinks they're swell. <laughs> I am a man. I love films with violence. I like to watch them every day, even when they don't make sense. I saw this one with a guy with a gun, his shots would never miss ya. Then he'd hit you with a flower, he was dirty Harry Krishna.
Let me tell you all about men, I walk the walk. I don't care what people say, just let them talk. All the rumors going around, uh, yeah, they're kind of scary. I guess I'm going to have to stop showering with Drew Carey. You can shut me up, I promise I won't ramble. I always go to Vegas if I want to ramble. But this time, my reason is a butte. I'm going to go to Vegas to get a prostitute. <laughs> Oh, if you ever gamble, take some advice from Drew. There's something you should never, ever, ever, ever do. What's the best advice? The best advice, I guess, is if you ever win big, don't tell the IRS. After playing strip poker, I'm naked at the table. Gee, I feel really bad, I'm really quite unstable. There's nothing worse than sitting there in your birthday suit. Never play strip poker at a correctional institute. <laughs> I just heard that Vegas just went broke. Apparently it's because of just one single bloke. I never saw that they'd ever see this day, but that's what happens when Drew Carey eats buffet. I look forward to Christmas each and every day, but this year I got no presents and I don't know what to say. I guess that old Santa Claus was nothing but a liar, and there was a funny smell when I lit the fire. <laughs> Christmas is a holiday that I really hate. There's nothing about it to which I can relate. So every December 25th, I kick off my shoes and go down to the deli and hang out with the Jews. the North Pole, the elves all went on strike. Santa didn't care, he said, go on, take a hike. Things were horrible that Christmas, it all just turned to poo. As Shakespeare said, remember, to thine own elf be true. I love when Santa goes, delivers all the toys. I love to see the smiles on all the girls and boys. Really is a holiday, a time to pause. Every Christmas Eve, you'll find me Boy, oh, listen, nothing amuses me than sitting at home and watching reality TV. Now that show comes, I think that it's the bomb until I turn it on and say, damn, that's my mom. <laughs> I love me a cop show of that you can be sure Until one night I'm watching and they bust down my door They bring inside a deputy, they bring inside a jailer And then they confiscated everything inside my trailer I saw a cop show, it really made me mad It was so horrible, the writing, it was sad the more I watched it, the more it was the pits it had. A pagoda and Eric Estrada was called Fish and Chips. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh boy, those cop shows, they give me such a fright. And it seems like they are on every single night. Sure, you can watch them if you really want to scare. Thursdays at 8, you can see Melissa's underwear. Just the other day, my husband said to me, Darling, why don't we start a family? What a silly notion, what a silly whim. Why do I need children when I've already got him? <laughs> I don't pay alimony, I don't pay child support, I don't pay nothing of no kind of that sort. 
I get to keep all the money that I'm paid. How can you have any children if you never ever get paid? My wife always bugged me to start a family, but I had a real low sperm count, so it was hard, you see. So we did something that I think was really bold. We adopted triplets, they're girls and 18 years old. The wife and I just had a kid again. I guess this brings the grand total, I think it is 10. How we had another, I just can't see. Since two years ago, I had a vasectomy. Every family reunion is such an awful night. It's my whole family getting in a fight. Then later on, they try and do a dance. But it's not a family reunion till my uncle drops his pants. like talking about my family. No siree, Bob, that's not the subject for me. But let me ask you a question. Tell me, Jack, am I adopted? Because the rest of my family's black. Family reunion about which I'm about to sing. Strange things are always happening. I went to see my favorite uncle, but he was not there. He had an operation, now he is my Aunt Claire. I want to see my relatives, but don't you know it's not right? Every time we get together, all we do is fight. I want to see my family, but don't you know I can't? We are from the South, and my sister is my aunt. Now here's a little something that I have to say. There's one person who ruins a matinee. Always trying to stop me, yes I bet. That movie Usher wants to touch my raisinets. The other day to the movies, man I had a go. The music wasn't much, and the plot, it was so-so. Don't you think that one day I'd be learning? Never go to the movies and do an impression of Pee Wee Herman. I went to a movie the other day. I put down all my money. I got in a fight with the usher. It wasn't funny. I hit him really hard. He wished he never wasn't born. And to get his revenge, he peed in my popcorn. I'm at the movie theater every Tuesday without fail. This time I'm going to see a swashbuckling tale. I am going to sit in the back row, watch it from afar. And this pirate movie, it is rated R. When I was younger, took a field trip to the zoo. I was really mischievous, so here's what I would do. But my crime, damn it, made me dance. I tried to put a cheetah and a rhino in my pants. When I go out to a store, I never like to pay. Uh -huh. I got five finger discount, I just take it away. I never pay for nothing, I don't pay no rent. And I never tell the truth, cause I'm the president. The other day I saw something, it really was a sin. It was a little revolver made of gelatin. It really was a bad idea, something I should have slept on, cause I was arrested for carrying a congealed weapon.
Shopping the correct way can be such a bore. I have to steal everything when I go in a store. Not to loot and take things can be really hard, but I guess I shouldn't cause I am a security guard. I had to wait for cable installation the whole day. It really made me mad that for TV I must pay. So when he came to the door, what did he see? I was wearing a negligee and I got cable for free. <laughs> Oh, you might think it's risky for a guy like me to be making fun of the cable company. Won't that cost you lots of money? No, because I'm not on cable. I'm on ABC. With my new cable, I have a lot of choice. Some of it makes me happy, some of it makes me moist. Gee, it's a lot of fun, I'm happy as a mouse. Now all day I can see Full House. I really hate my cable guy, he makes me wait all day. There is one guy that I really don't want to pay. Then one sunny day I really got my wish. I murdered my cable guy and then I got a dish. My voice was high and screechy. My hair was lank and freaky. I walked around the school feeling full on totally geeky. But the thing I hated most when I went to the dance was getting dragged across the lawn in my underpants. <laughs> Well, I hated high school. I did not have a ball. I just hated walking through the hall. I hated going to every class because the pimples on my face. But now they're on my ass. The hardest time of my life was going through puberty. It seemed like everything around just excited me. Now listen to me now, this isn't one of my rants. When you go through puberty, do not wear sweatpants. <laughs> I didn't handle the puberty thing too well. In fact, for me, it was like going to hell. And it was kind of embarrassing, if the truth be told. Cause when I went through it, I was 42 years old. Every time it's Halloween, woo, make room. Because I have the world's best costume. Yep, you see me get a sheet, man. Because I'll pull it over my head and go as a Ku Klux Klan. Halloween's the only time I get a girl. That's the only time I really give it a whirl. I never get anyone pregnant. How is that, you ask? Well, it's real easy. I wear a rubber mask. <laughs> Halloween, I thought it would be fair if I gave all the kids one real big scare. It went way too far and now I'm being sued. This is the last year that I go as a nude. I have the most horrifying costume you've ever seen. When the children see me, they run away and scream. When it comes to costume, there is none more scary. I put on stupid glasses and go out as Drew Carey. Let me tell you something happened just the other day. My date was so ugly, I almost ran away. She was just horrific, where can I begin? When that heifer was born, her mama should have pushed her back in. 
I met a girl in a club, it was pretty dark. Thought I'd take her home just for a lark. But when I saw her in the light, I ran a mile. Cause she looked just like Ryan Styles. <laughs> an ugly woman. Yes, it is not fair. I have ugly face and I have no hair. What can I do? That's the way the fates went. The only person who'll sleep with me is the president. so ugly that I'll never have a lover. When I leave the house, all the dogs run for cover. I'm big and white and round, and my back is real hairy. Yes, you guessed it, my name is Drew Carey. I went up to Drew's house because he's getting married. He's going to be married to the girl that'll be Mrs. Drew Carey. He said there'd be a stripper, and there wasn't. It was scary, because when the stripper came out, it was Drew Carey. <laughs> At a bachelor party, we took off our clothes. It was pretty wild. Heaven knows I was embarrassed when I went to tip her. Turns out my mother was the stripper. I went to a bachelor's party. I really had a ball. Boy, I consumed an awful lot of alcohol. In fact, it was really bad. In fact, it spelled my doom. Cause when I awoke, I found I married the groom. My friends threw me a party. I knew that I was sunk. We stripped right down all night long. Got really drunk. Dancing with my naked friends. Boy, that's the life. As a matter of fact, to hell with my wife. Who knew that when I moved into my house, my new neighbor would be such a louse. He's just like Jar Jar Binks, cause he is always rude. Peeking in my window when I'm break dancing nude. I once had a neighbor living there was really hard. I used to find legs and arms buried in my yard. My husband said, honey, you really should be calmer. But I said, it's your fault, Lou. We move next to Jeffrey Dahmer. Parties with drunks and naked girls are happening next door. There is an awful racket, it's shaking up my floor. There's in and out and things are happening, I know I shouldn't grouse, but boy, I hate living next to the White House. <laughs> I really hate the guy who lives next door to me. I wish he would move real far so I couldn't see. People running naked, it's really, really scary. But I guess that's what you get when you live next door to Drew Carey. Oh, I got married about a year ago. I'm as happy as can be, I think you all should know. But my wife, I'm glad I did marry. Except in the morning, she looks like Drew Carey. <laughs> about his little wife cause she is the love of his life but every night just about three oh wait she's out with me <laughs> My wife scares the life out of me with her ugly hair and scars all you can see. Marrying someone that ugly really wasn't my plan. I accidentally married Dennis Rodman. You know that my wife, she is my best pal. I will have to say that she is quite a gal. When it comes to wives, she is the best. 
she's the finest in the land. Now I'll get some sex. Here's a little fact that I think you ought to know. I got out of jail about two months ago. I'm stuck in my house all alone. Because of this bracelet, I can never leave my home. Ow! My idea of fun is to go to Alabama to see all my friends who are stuck there in the slammer. <laughs> then I find a frog or a tadpole and I take them into a room and I violate parole. <laughs> I forgot a probation officer, he's not very tough. He doesn't have that many rules, my life is not that rough. Life is pretty easy if you know what I mean, cause my probation officer is Charlie Sheen. My officer wants me to go back to jail. I thought I was scot-free, I thought that I'd made bail. When I go back, I know that I will do life. The really bad part is that I'm everybody's wife. I watch game shows, I watch them all day long. I watch all of them and they have real great theme songs. But there is something I don't understand with my wife. If they had a game show in South Central, it'd be called Run For Your Life. <laughs> what did I say? I hate to tell the story cause myself it might embarrass. But the other night I went out with the daughter of Chuck Ferris. When we went to make love, she did something that's wrong. I took off my pants, and she gave me the gong. I am a game show host. My life's a game, you see. I fill it all with danger. I'm in jeopardy. It really is quite wonderful. I do it with all my might. I hang out with prostitutes because the price is right. I'm on a game show competing against a girl. When I look at her, it sends my heart in a whirl. To beat her at this game, it would be so heinous. I answer to this question, it must be. Uh. Here is some news I heard all over the place. Michael Jackson had surgery to fix his face. He didn't think that he looked good, he started sulking. I saw him the other day, he looks just like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Okay, I know something nice. It isn't so darn nasty. You could just be a doctor and go giving rhinoplasty. Michael Jackson had some, it wasn't just his loss. Instead of one Michael Jackson, now there's two Diana Ross. <laughs> The plastic surgery didn't work, I must confess. My, my face is now one big bad mess. Here's a little hint, if any of you go, make sure your doctor isn't Dr. Picasso. <laughs> surgery but my doc said no I had to force him cuz I had no place to go I had to threaten him with my big old Mauser now I look just like a grown-up dude let me tell you something just listen to my song I was on the beach I got something caught in my thong the pain was immense I thought that I would hurl a little piece of sand got trapped uh, I made a pearl <laughs> Oh, I went on vacation and it was grand. I got lots of sleep and I got really tan. Now I'm back to work, don't want to sound like a leech, but man, do these hoedowns really is a beach. <laughs> I vacationed at the beach, I really had to frown. I was splashing in the water and I started to drown. Water went into my lungs, I spluttered and I coughed. Next thing I woke up having mouth to mouth with David Hasselhoff. I went 
to the beach and boy was the water cold. I got in anyway because I was bold. When I jumped in it was colder than I feared. That's the day that my penis disappeared. If I had money, here's what I'd do, you see. I'd make it my mission to help celebrities. I'd even help one guy who I consider my friend. I'd spend all of my money to make Michael Jackson black again. <laughs> what I would do. I'd buy a car and maybe a house or two. But this is what I'm wondering and this is what I'm asking. If you won the lottery, why would you waste it on Michael Jackson? <laughs> I'm sitting here on my couch watching the TV. They're picking all the numbers of my favorite lottery. I am so excited when fortune calls. I've never been so happy with someone picking my <laughs> Winning the lottery would be kind of funny. Boy, I don't know what I'd do with all that money. A lot of people think that it would be kind of scary. But I would buy the show and fire Drew Carey. When I want a vacation, I took a trip to the beach. Because it was the only stretch of land that was within reach. Oh man, it was great. You understand? When I went, I was as light as him. Now I'm a dark man. <laughs> Well, I went to the beach last week, I really caused a panic. People jumping from their blankets, falling off their hammock. Man, they were yelling, they were screaming at me. I guess I shouldn't have worn my tiny thong bikini. <laughs> I went to the beach because I'm really pale. I went skinny dipping with my pet, a great white whale. I was out in the sun too long, I got really sick. Boy, it was so horrible, I burnt my Moby <laughs> I went to the beach with Drew and boy, was it fun. He took off his shirt and everybody else was done. We got a place there, apartment that we leased. He was being pushed in the water by some guys from Greenpeace. Oh, once I was so ugly, I really did look neat. Until I saw the doctor and I got rhinoplasty I went back and I went back I didn't know when to stop You might not recognize me I was the king of pop Well one thing I always thought Wasn't really for me Was the thought of plastic surgery But let me tell you brother uh, Let me tell you Jim Before I had my face done I used to look like him <laughs> My plastic surgeon gave me a face that is so new And he also threw in a hair transplant too Oh, it's really wonderful, the people made a crack Because they got all the hair from Drew Carey's back <laughs> I went to the doctor, I thought it was funny What I wanted to do cost a lot of money He did it right away and never made a fuss I took some of the inches from my feet and put them on my penis If I won the lottery, I would do lots of good I would do exactly what a friend should Because you see I love you guys, let me explain I'd take all my money and buy Colin some Rogaine <laughs> Lottery, a million smackaroos That'll really keep me in underoos The only thing that really is a bummer I can't spend the money Cause I'm in jail for running numbers I have won the lottery My riches I can flaunt 
I don't care about anything. I can do anything I want. <laughs> All that money would be really hard to spend I'm sure it seems like it would never, never end I could give it to charities or so, I am told But I think I'll just have my penis dipped in gold Let me tell you something, my girlfriend, I was a slob But now look who's laughing, astronaut, it is my job Flying around the universe, that is my duty I even made a pit stop in Mars and got some Martian booty Well, I work for NASA, and it is a great place. They let me take my girlfriend up into outer space. And now we're all alone up there, and she sure knows how to please. And her boobs really look nice and zero G's. I am an astronaut, but I'd rather be fishing. Because I've been up in space on a 10-year mission. It really is so horrible, I'm really annoyed. I've been sitting down so long, I've got asteroids. I think you will find my best astronaut that will be found. I can't wait to blast off and leave this ground. Soon as I get up there, oh boy, I yell, shoot. I forgot about my training and I tinkled in my suit. When I start dating, they say, you're insane. Wayne, why do you take your dates up in a plane? Because I know that a girl loves the way I go. And so if the date goes well, guess who'll be yelling, Geronimo! <laughs> Well, I say skydiving's the best way to call it off When you and your girlfriend had just had enough And here's how you do it, don't think that I'm insane You get her up there, take her shoot off, and kick her off the plane I jumped out of the plane, my parachute had failed all the blood rushed from me, my complexion paled. Everywhere you could hear my scared call. Luckily, all my urine broke my fall. I was skydiving when my parachute failed. I couldn't stop, I just sailed and sailed and sailed. But I looked around and I was no dummy. I survived cause I landed on Drew Carey's tummy Don't make fun of the police I say stop Because one of my best friends is a cop Because I like the way that they do their thing I say hey it's a good thing My name isn't Rodney King When I was arrested it wasn't good for me They beat me and they stripped me and they searched my cavity why did this happen to such a guy, you say? Well, tell you the truth, it was because I was arrested in L.A. I am quite unbalanced. My mind is not that steady. I once pummeled a guy with an ever-ready. They took me down to jail and they arrested me. And they charged me with assault with a battery. <laughs> I got sent to prison, I didn't know what to do. I felt so bad because I was so new. Didn't know the ways there, I felt like such a dope. But now I never been down to pick up any soap. I've got a job, now don't you all laugh. I work for you, Hefner, I take photographs. But I stopped the day, I don't want to be rude. But you said, hey Wayne, take pictures of Drew Nude. When I was young, I took up photography. Then I worked for Playboy. He 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 he. What's the best thing about working over there? 
Well, I saw Wayne's mom in her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I am a photographer, but I'm not the best. I have a hard time photographing chess. I called an expert who lived out west, because when it comes to this, father knows breast. <laughs> I'm taking pictures of Drew out by his pool. He wants to be in the nude, I think that's kind of cool. He's paying me lots of money, all of it in tens. After looking at him, I think I'll need a telephoto lens. If you don't like music, well, you better stop. I love rock musicians and those kids who sing pop. Oh, you say, I don't like that music. Yeah, that's what you think. But trust me, nobody gets more booty than that group in sync. When I became a rock star, I thought it'd be sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I thought that all the women would really take their toll. But now there's this fact that really makes me loopy. Colin Mockery is my only groupie. I'm a member of the world's oldest band. I slept with every supermodel in the land. Well, I didn't get one, but that is her loss. A Rolling Stone never gets no Kate Moss. I want to be a rock star, oh, that I can see. I think that that would be the job for me. Rock and roll isn't the best music I found, but at least they don't have to do a stinking hoedown. I really was so ugly, I looked just like a sturgeon. And so I went to Hollywood and got myself a surgeon. He pulled it all much tighter, and here's the final crack. I got so much surgery, my ears meet in the back. <laughs> Well, I went to my plastic surgeon and said that I would let her, let her have a crack at me to see if I could look better. Then when it was over, I said, hey, thanks for trying. At least when you got done with me, I didn't look like Ryan. <laughs> My mother had plastic surgery, she uses it like a crutch. She's had it seven times already, I think that's too much. I think that is way too much, hey, what, what the heck? She's been lifted so much, her bum is at her neck. I think I love looking better all around the clock. So I got some money and I went to see the doc. I looked in the mirror and I didn't know what to do. So I thought that I might shoot myself because I look like Drew. Well, I went on a talk show cause I am such a swinger. I could have gone on Sally, but instead I went on Springer. I never knew just what I could say. I know sometimes I can't. I came on with my transvestite gay lesbian second aunt. <laughs> Well, I died recently and I went straight to hell. What happened to me, I just can't tell. All I know is every day on TV, I was a guest of Regis and Kathy Lee. Oh I play at the stadium of baseball games. I once got censored, that's my claim to fame. It really was done by the censor named Morgan when I told the crowd I love to play with my organ. <laughs> when I watch TV, I like to sit in the back. My favorite show is when animals attack. Once I saw this thing with a big bum, it was all hairy. Then it turned around, I noticed it was Drew Carey. A hundred episodes of Whose Line? Lord, it changed my life. It gave me financial security for myself and my wife. So thank you, ABC and Warner Brothers, you're my friend. Cause if it wasn't for Whose Line, I'd be on UPN.
Well, today it was our hundredth show. It's been really fun. Great, don't you know? Let me just tell you something. Even though it's been a blast, all you folks been watching Friends, you can kiss my ass. A hundred episodes of Who's Line, where our name's being called. A hundred shows of them saying that I'm bald. Does it hurt the friendship? Can it stand the test? Yes, it can, cause I'm hung the best. Colin says he's hung the best that I just can't see. I've known him for a long time and it cannot be. He says he's got a big penis, but that's not a lock. Cause I have to tell you right now, mine's tucked in my sock. Every Saturday I'm at home doing my thing. Watching great big fellers run around in the ring. I sit there, me and Drew turn off the sound. And then we get freaky and do our own version of SmackDown. <laughs> Well, I'm a wrestler, I love it, don't you see? It's really healthy and I make lots of money. The only thing I don't like that gives me such a fright is when I see Ryan in his little tights. I am a wrestler, let me on the loose. Over the years, I've taken lots of abuse. My head has been smacked, I've been hitting the turnbuckle. Because of all my injuries, I've lost the ability to rhyme. I hate wrestling, I think they're all on the take. The way they throw themselves around, I'm sure that it is fake. The way they act, you think that they really did. But can they break a neon light by slamming it with their head? When you get a kiss, you get a kiss on the mouth. I've been kissed lots of time, I'm from Florida, that's the South. My first kiss, brother, it was the bomb. It wasn't from a girl in high school, it was from my mom. Well, my first job was in fast food, don't you know? The hours were real long and the pay was real low. My boss told me that he didn't like my sass, so my first kiss was a hearty kiss my ass. My first kiss is something I won't forget. It was really luscious, boy, it was wet. It really changed my life, I'll never be the same. Oh, I wish I could remember the guy's name. My first kiss happened when I was really drunk. But she wouldn't kiss me, cause she said my breast stunk. When it came to that date, I was really in a rut. I should have run some string through my mouth and out my butt. You see something, my dating life is bad. I opened up the newspaper and then I read an ad. The ad said it was great, and so I did not blunder. I opened up the door and there was Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Once I got a blind date, I really liked to smile. He was very tall, though, his name was Ryan Stiles. I went right on through it, that date was pretty rough. Sure, it was a blind date, but I wasn't blind enough. <laughs> I went on a blind date, her name was Lovely Kate. Everything was wonderful, boy, it was great. And what happened next, I tell you it is true. When I went and kissed her, she went doo 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 doo. I met a girl one day who said she really liked me. Why she did, I really couldn't see. She was really turned on, she gave me types of clues. What really got her hot was all my fancy shoes. Going to family reunions puts me in a funk. I hang out with my relatives and they all get drunk. You see, my mom in her childhood was bad. I go to these family reunions and try to find my dad. All this talk.
talk about relatives it really makes me queasy. I don't like to talk about my family. It makes me a little uneasy. I have just one question. Can you help me, please? Am I adopted because my family's all Chinese? <laughs> Reunions are things that people hate. I personally think, boy, they're really great. I have a real good time. I know it sounds real sick, but I always go there and I can pick up chicks. I'll never see my family, and that is just a hunch. As it turned out, we weren't a very nice bunch. Oh, no, we we're bad. We weren't any Hanson. I'll never see my family, because my name is Charlie Manson. Well, I knew Colin's mother. Yes, I must tell the truth. When she was nursing Colin, her milk was 90 proof. She wanted to kick the habit. She didn't know what to do. But if your baby looked like that, then you'd be drinking, too. Let me tell you something that happened just to me. My mama started drinking when I was just three. Now I shouldn't let this secret slip. But my mama started drinking when she married Chip. My mother drinks a lot. I know that isn't strange, but her behavior gets really strange. She acts as though she's from somewhere else, maybe like Venus. Oh, by the way, Chip has a little penis. <laughs> oh, boy, this hoe down, it's taking mighty long. I am so sick of this bloody song. Wayne sits there and he gets to rest. His penis is large, that's why he's behind the desk. They've got doctors, young and old, to help you with your heart or glands, or maybe when you got a cold. But my friend Colin, he dances really loose. The only doctor with his arm he needs to see is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> My doctor, he's giving me lots of aid. My doctor makes me feel unafraid. Why do I love my dear old Dr. Merle? Well, can you believe that I used to be a girl? <laughs> my patients really really mad the last guy that I had still hasn't healed I should have been gentler when I fluffed his Garfield <laughs> see my doctor in his big white cape. He told me that I really need to get in shape. Boy, I really hate him, his words I despise, but I think that today I better start to exercise. Here I go, I'm in my car cruising. Problem is I've been out earlier boozing. I shouldn't have done the bad things that I did. The only upside is I was arrested by Ingrid. <laughs> The subject of my last arrest, well, I don't want to delve. They put me on the ground and showed me they're Adam 12. Then they Starsky and Hutched me and threw me on the floor. And that's how I ended up in Hawaii with five hoes. <laughs> I've been arrested over 20 times. I've been arrested for many different crimes. People think it's horrible, but I think, what the hell? It's not that unusual. I play in the NFL. <laughs> I 
try to rob every store that I see. But one time I got caught by 40 cops, how could that be? I walked right in and I opened up the door. That's what I get for robbing a donut store. I had myself a lady, a really special girl. But then she went and left me cause I made her nose hair curl. And she said she had to leave, she cried and fell to bits. She said it's not your face, it's just your pits, they are the pits. <laughs> Woo! Well, my wife left me, she ran out the door. She took all the furniture, she cleared me to the floor. When I asked her why, she said I smelled like no other. She smelled, said I smelled as bad as an episode of Big Brother. There is a question that's been asked through the ages. Nobody has the answer, controversy rages. But I know the answer is exactly what you think. Dinosaurs had B.O., now they're all extinct. <laughs> Everybody go to go have a go to the bathroom for a while. Come back in. I'm phased out. I, can't. I got one. How are we Do doing? It. Come over here. Stand behind me and sing it. Oh, I went on a date last night. It really didn't end well. She said she wouldn't kiss me cause I had a weird smell. I said, come on baby, why don't you have a heart? Sure I might have B.O., but at least I didn't fart. Them Backstreet Boys, I think they really stink. It isn't anything personal, they're just not in sync. This might be kind of weird, it could be a shock, but I still got a poster of the new kids on the block. Radio today, they don't have anything good to play. All they play is junk, they are in a rut. I wish they'd take the Backstreet Boys and shove them up their butt. I hate the Backstreet Boys, they bug me like no one else can. So I came up with a really cunning plan. I kidnapped them and then I showed them, oh, how to hurt. I made them all wear a copy of my shirt. A lot of people think that the best ones in the land. But the Backstreet Boys aren't my kind of band. Many people think that they are heaven sent. But you're not a band unless you play an instrument. I moved to Hollywood to see if I could act. About five years ago to this day to be exact. I thought being a director, it would be groovy. My first directing job was in a homemade Drew Porter movie. My first directing job, it was really great. Fans lined up to see it, they can really wait. Uh, it was really the bomb. It was a porno movie starring Wayne's mom. I'm a big director, I keep egos in check. Stars rant and rave at me, but I think what the heck. Nothing really scares me, I know no fear. Nothing scares me since Ryan licked my ear. Our director, he really is the boss. For yelling and screaming, he's never at a loss. He's the meanest guy that you will ever see. He should sprout a mustache and move to Germany. Well, I love hockey, the game can't be beat. Where else can you do a job where you're missing teeth? I get plenty of dates, see I'm never lonely. I take off my hockey costume and ride naked on the Zamboni. Well, I met a girl 
last night at the hockey game. One look at her, I knew things would never be the same. We went back to my place, and I was in luck. She wanted to go to bed with me, and I said, hey, what the puck? My battery pack. I'm a hockey goalie, and boy, do I feel dumb. I forgot my shorts, and there is my bum. All the laughing, oh, when will it cease? I guess I look funny with a puck stuck in my crease. I always wanted to join the LAPD, LA's best. But I can't see, so I failed the vision test. I went one night to the church and prayed under the steeple. I wanted to be a cop so bad that I joined the village people. <laughs> Next year I'm gonna marry me a lady cop. Cause with her the sex is something I can't top. What's so sexy about her? Is that what you said? Well, I love it when she reads me my rights and cuts me to the bed. I was once the best cop in all the land. People, as they saw me go, boy, is he grand. I was so respected, believe me, I'm not lying. Till I got fired for making an H with Ryan. I got busted once, and boy, did that hurt. He wasn't very big, he was a little squirt. He tried to frisk me, threw me up against the wall. He had to get a ladder, cause I'm over six feet tall. I always wanted to be a magician all my life. I go around the house going, hey, surprise, doing those things to my wife. I want to go to Vegas, her I do annoy. If I was one half of an act, it'd be Siegfried and Leroy. <laughs> But magicians are really hard to do Hard to think of one verse, let alone even two Let me tell you something that'll give you a little laugh If you take a rhyme again, I'm gonna saw your ass in half There goes mine Thank you, Drew I am a great magician. I have this special hex. I can take a man and make him change his sex. It really is quite simple. The best trick in the world. I just tickle Wayne's bum and he screams like a girl. Colin wants to be a magician and I think he should. The only problem is he's not very good. He really sucks, he's the worst in the land. His best trick is pouring hot coffee on his hand. Ryan, he was really tired of the dating scene. He wanted to get a spouse who was never mean. He wanted a girl with brains and a girl that was kind of finer. So he mail ordered a chick all the way from China. met his wife she fell in love with his nose she couldn't wait to rip off all of his clothes but then she found out something made her die what they say about guys with big nose and big feet it's a lie <laughs> Styles, I'd love to be his wife. He's the best lover that I've ever had in my life. After we've made love, boy, I'm really high stepping. Mel Gibson isn't the only one with a lethal weapon. Getting married is what I always. 
always wanted to do. The happiest day was when my wife said, I love you. We're the happiest couple to anyone who's seen us. And it beats the hell out of us sitting around and pulling my own Being Superman, it is really fun. Because you'd have powers and I'd use every one. I would do it and fight for right. And then I would party because it's crypto night. Well, Superman is hunky and he looks good in his tights. He keeps ladies thinking of him at nights. But there's one thing that causes ladies pain. When he makes love to them, he's faster than a train. Oh, Colin does remember all the time he spent wishing he was Superman or at least Clark Kent. He waited all his life. He waited for that day. But just like Superman, his hair was up, up, and away. Just like Superman, I've got special powers. I have fun with them. I could use them for hours. With my x-ray vision, I can do no wrong. Right now I'm looking at Drew Carey's thong. I met my girl at the zoo, and that's no junk. I'm dating an elephant that she has a trunk. And I love her, I give her my allegiance. Why she doesn't want money, she just works for peanuts. Well, we went to the zoo, my girlfriend and I, just to see some rhinoceri. But there weren't any around, so we went out to the lake, and I went underwater, and I showed her my snake. <laughs> my lovely girl we had lots of fun there we gave our love a whirl boy we had such a really good time this last time would be funny but drew took my rhyme <laughs> a zoo is a place i don't want to be all of the animals really frighten me here comes a hippo, oh no, it's kind of scary. Oh, it's not a hippo, it's just Drew Carey. <laughs> well, I know that we're in matrimony, but I cheated on you, so I feel just like a phony. Now, girl, you see, from the day that we did marry, I was sleep with you, but I was making love to Drew Carey. <laughs> Let me tell you, ever since I was 13, you've given me the best loving that I've ever seen. Let me tell you something that I know you can't stand. I've been cheating on you with my other hand. Yes, I've cheated on you. I've had women by the score. At last count, it was over 84. I don't care that you're mad or your pride is bent, cause I've just been pardoned by the ex-president. I cheated on my wife with her sister and her mother. I also slept with her cousin and her brother. Boy, when she heard, boy, did it sting her. The good news is next week, we're on Jerry Springer. I love being Rock star, pop stars make me sick. I fly around the world and I get a lot of chicks. Best part of being a rock star that I thought because I sing my songs. <laughs> Yeah, I love being a rock star. I make them pay me in pearls. I make lots of money and get lots of teenage girls. And when I'm singing, I really got the power. Yeah, I'm a rock star when I'm naked in the shower. <laughs> I wish I was a rock star, my image would be good. I would look so virile, like any rock star should. I put a cucumber in my pants so it looks like I don't lack. Of course it looked much better if it wasn't in the back. 
I want to be a rock star, that's what I want to do. I bet every one of you would like to be one too. I'd like to sing rock and roll, that's my kind of sound. You'd never hear me singing a stinking hoedown. Oh, I work for a mover right here in Hollywood. I pull up my truck and you know it's all good. I had to move Drew Carey and it was real queer. He didn't have no belongings, just a million cans of beer. Last September, I had a stressful day. I had to pack my stuff and move away. But one thing won, little man, I couldn't fit my fat ass in the van. I had to help a friend move. He worked in the coal mines. Because of doctor's orders, he had to move to warmer climes. It really turned out badly. I know I shouldn't whine, but I was arrested for transporting a minor over the state line. <laughs> Maybe this is the hold down. I'll do real good this time. Hey, this is easy. I'm really starting to rhyme. It's going great, boy, I hope I have some luck Cause last time I messed up and said a word that rhymes with duck Hey, I got a girlfriend, you know her name is Ruth The reason that I love her is she always tells the truth We have not made love not once since our inception But now she's pregnant, she tells me it's immaculate conception <laughs> had this girly, yes she was the best Because she caused me, yes a lot of stress She drove me crazy and drove me insane She showed me a little strip and said, here's a little Wayne I took a pregnancy test, it really was a topper Because it took a place upon a helicopter My girlfriend she went the full term, and all because the whirly bird got the sperm. My girlfriend is pregnant, I just heard from her. Thinking about it, it just makes me go grrr. Someone makes me nervous, someone bring me towels. Cause when I just went grrr, I emptied all my bowels. I love to work out because I get a date. So I don't hesitate to go and grab a rate. People, here's a fact that I bet you didn't know. I got my butt this tight because I do tie bow. Well, people always ask me, how do you stay in shape? How? How to get that body? Is it lifting weights? Well, let me tell you something, my secret I hold dear. I got this body by lifting cans of beer. Hey! I don't like to work out cause I'm very meek. I really can't do anything strenuous cause I'm very weak. When I do actually work out, people filled with smiles. I can't lift anything heavy so I bench press Ryan Stiles. I really don't have to sing this song anymore. It could turn out to be a real big bore. I know I'll win this game, I'm not better than the rest. But I'm sleeping with Danny and she's behind the desk. I've always wanted to be a duck. Because in the community, he is a rock. Then a Hippocratic, oh, you've got to take it. The worst part of a doctor's job is seeing these three naked. I love going to my doctor, it gives me such a thrill I go to my doctor even when I'm not ill Now you may think that I'm in a rut But I am not, see, see, his nurse got so nice but uh, Cause, that's why I go to the doctor, cause his nurse got and I am a 
doctor, famous as can be. Throughout the world, I'm renowned for my surgery. They're going to make a movie about me in the future. It really is incredible. It's called Back to the Suture. <laughs> I'm not feeling well and it really is kind of scary Things are happening to me involuntary I thought know something really is amiss Every time I go out I can't stop doing this Let me tell you a story Just the other day I was stopped by a cop for speeding around the way All those speed limits, you know that I didn't break it But I wasn't speeding in the car, I was streaking butt naked I drive fast, I do it all the time Usually 105, sometimes 109 Burning rubber, flipping off the CHP Cause they don't give no ticket to a rich celebrity I did 120 while riding my bike I was stopped by a great big cop, his name was Mike I got up to that speed by unusual means I knew I shouldn't had that extra helping of beans <laughs> One day as a joke, I gave a cop the finger I took off real fast, I didn't want to linger I headed on the freeway, I didn't get too far Stupid me, I was walking, I wasn't in a car I'm having an affair, stepping out on my spouse Late night calls and running from my house This affair has got me, its hold on me is mighty No, it isn't with a woman, my affair is with righty Well, I'm single, so you may ask, how can I cheat? Well, I have a method and that method can't be beat What I've discovered is an affair to remember I'm thinking about Miss June while I'm looking at Miss November <laughs> so horrible I cheated on my wife I haven't felt this bad in my entire life the affair happened at the restaurant where I waited the best part was the affair was catered <laughs> my wife caught me with a prostitute she came into the room and she began to shoot and then she went and yelled all around the town I know there's more prostitutes I guess that's one ho down I'm gonna tell you folks a little tale about how I won the battle of the scale see my weight would hurt me my heart it would break it how I lost weight a picture drew standing naked <laughs> Well, people always ask me, hey Drew, did you lose weight? And I tell them, thanks, I feel great. I find a diet plan that's like no other. I burn all my calories, <laughs> Wayne's. I don't think it's funny that I'm overweight. People make fun of me, boy, that isn't great. The things that they said, boy, it's made me cry. Some kid snuck up and wrote Goodyear on my side. <laughs> Singing about weight, I don't know where to begin. As you've noticed, I really am quite thin. I watch my weight, I don't want to end up dead. There's very few calories in licking Colin's head. I had a blind date and had many fears. I hadn't had a date in about 10 years. Veronica was a really great gal, yes you understand. But at the end of the night I found out Veronica was a man. Well I thought a blind date would really be a treat. So I went out with my blind date and got I had a 
blind date. It really was the pits. Nothing worked all night. I kept getting hit. She really was abusive. Man, oh man, oh man. But what else can you expect when your blind date is Roseanne? <laughs> I had a blind date, she was better than the rest When it comes to women, I would have to say she's best Blue eyes, long legs, and really good blonde hair Every time I go to date, I fill her full of air I'm a professor, I've got a PhD I am so smart, no one is smarter than me I am a professor, I've been one all night In fact, I am a professor, I hope Chip just it right well, when I get in the ring, it is such a treat. I knock my opponents right off their feet. Why do I wrestle with all my might? It's because I look good in wrestling tights. It's professor. It's professor. <laughs> I am a dentist, my duty I won't shirk My assistant wants to do all of my work No you can't, I said to her, her name is Ruth Why not, she said, I said you can't handle the tooth My wife is so cute, she's from North Carolina We decided to get married off in China One billion people came and it was really nice And after the ceremony they threw pork fried rice I'll get drunk and go on a bender All I really want is a really nice blender When we get married on our honeymoon We'll have one room He and I are both the groom When I think of my wedding day It really sticks out in my mind Gee, I love that woman She was one great find when I think of that night, boy, the memories do flow. On our honeymoon, we stayed up all night and watched the Drew Carey Show. I get so excited when I go to a wedding. I get really bad, you have to change my bedding. I must have kissed the bride for three hours at least. That was the wrong thing because I am the priest. I don't like to study, but I have no fear. I'd rather sit in my dorm room and drink lots of beer. If I fail my tests, I have a special scheme. It doesn't matter what my grades, I'm on the football team. First one from my family, I was such a smarty. When I got to college, all I did was yell and party. Graduation should have been a time I celebrated, but I missed my midterms because I was inebriated. turns from my study room and do not stir. Everything's coming at me. There's too much pressure. I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> we are having midterms this afternoon in class. Oh boy, this time I really hope I pass. There's nothing that I'd like to do more than walk out that door. But I better hurry, cause I'm turning 64. Thank goodness for my mom that I was made. It was 27 years ago that my dad got <laughs> That's right, you see, upon closer inspection, I'm standing here, cause he didn't use protection. <laughs> i 
little stuff. Give me lots of drugs. Guess what my wife gave birth the other day. I really supported her. I was there all the way. For the time went by, for the time sure passes, then I cut the cord. I really should have worn my glasses. The day I was born, my daddy really did care. He wore a surgical mask, and yes, he was right there. People said he looks just like you. I guess it was a curse, cause I happened to come out ass first. I hate my roommate. I hate him if you please. He's really loud at chopping logs, and he's a saw and Z's. I don't know why he makes so much noise in his bed, but last night I had too much and cut off his head. <laughs> My wife says my snoring, it is way too loud My wife, my snoring and me, that's a real big crowd My wife, she hates it when I'm snoring and I'm laying prone Because my snoring covers up my wife's moans <laughs> I'm a loud snorer, I do it all the time The way my wife goes on about it, you think it was a crime it really is so horrible, I wish I could stop real close. The worst thing of all, though, I don't snore through my nose. I snore real loudly each and every night. Sometimes my wife and I get into a huge fight. I guess it's kind of bad, I don't show a lot of class. I snore so hard, I suck the sheets right out my I'm a human vending machine, it's really awfully dandy Just give me your money, cause my belly's full of candy Look right through the display in the window, here's the glass Give me your quarter, I'll shoot some candy I love vending machines, that is why I sing In this newfangled age, you can get almost anything you can get a Bible if you're a theologian And if you're really horny, you can even get a Trojan There's a song about a vending machine, I hope it makes much sense Just listen very carefully, because it's totally in French La chocolate, the chips, and we hate more than Don the Sheen Singing a song about a vending machine Don't you know that it's really not my scene? Try to think of something clever with a little twist If we do another hoedown, I'll slit my fucking wrist <laughs> Five hundred points to Ryan for giving the censor something to think about. <laughs> nobody, nobody is funnier when they're pissed off than Ryan Stiles. But nobody. I didn't know we could say fucking all this time. All good? Yeah. I want to do it again. More, 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 more. <laughs> hey, and the bonus is we get to see Ryan slit his fucking wrist. <laughs> Slit is fucking rich. When it comes to baseball, I'll be honest, it's a sport I don't like. So the fact that I'm doing this hoedown itself is my third strike. I'm just figuring it out because, as you can see, I went from a rookie to a hoedown MVP. I envy baseball players. They get a lot of dough for hitting and some bunting and then running in slow-mo. It isn't that hard. In fact, it really isn't tough. I'd like to see him do a hoedown. I ain't getting paid enough. I ain't getting paid enough. 
I'm on a mixed team, it's both girls and guys. We run around the field and shed pop flies. There is one girl, the prettiest that I found. I hope that next week I'll be pitching on her mound. <laughs> I'm a baseball player, this girl has a pretty face. I took her back to my place, tried to get to second base. But when we got naked, oh how we both cried. I've done so much steroids, my junk has shriveled up and died. I used to be a butcher, a master of the cut. But I was so distracted by my wife's beautiful butt. She sauntered in, she said hi with her kisses. And I was so distracted, slice, now I'm the missus. Come here, pretty lady, right here and have a seat. My occupation is the one in charge of cutting meat. I am a player and the girls think I'm a baller. But please don't cut my meat because it can't get any smaller. I am a butcher, I work in outer space I serve my meats to every different kind of alien race I am famous throughout the world, yes, yes that's true You may know my motto, may the pork be with you You're a beautiful woman, can I help you ma'am? May I suggest a pork roast or maybe even ham? Oh, I've got everything, try some of my meat My meatballs are gigantic and my sausage is real sweet A pilot is a great job, you get to fly You kiss gravity and the ground, bye-bye Chip got a really great job, it made me a believer I can't wait till CBS gives me a drama, I wouldn't do this either <laughs> me a pilot he really is so dear i do appreciate the way he flew me here i love all you guys and i do appreciate you all look fantastic and drew looks freaking great oh i love my stewardess she's better than the rest oh my god you should see the size of her breast I called her up, oh yeah, she knows where to sit. Come right over here on my cockpit. Well, my name's Captain Sully. I landed in the water. I cannot fly a plane like I know I ought to. I didn't get no kudos. I didn't get no thanks. But I don't give a hooey. I'm being played by Tom Hanks. Due to our economy, it ain't surprising That I lost my home when my company started downsizing Now you see, this is, this is the horrible date That I moved back with my parents, I, I mean, my roommates I have a roommate, he lives in the room Sometimes we shovel, sometimes we broom We have lots of fun, we never ever frown And best of all, we never do a hoedown My rent is really high, expensive can't you see? So I needed a guy, someone to live with me I went and got a grandpa, he helped me there for free He's really not my grandpa, but he's old enough to be. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, you saw that. Oh, my roommate and I, we don't get along. Everything I do just seems to be wrong. I should move out, but I give it another try. But I'm thinking to myself, why, why, why? Whoa, oh, come. <laughs> I go to a prom, 
when I get the chance. My favorite part is when I get to dance. I listen to the disco, the reggae, and the rap. My prom would be awesome if none of you people would clap. <laughs> I love me a prom, yes I think it's the best I can wear a tie and my date can wear a dress I got me a date, I'm in love and I'm falling Six foot two, white and bald, man I'm taking Colin Well hi there Vanessa, I'm your date this year I'm really glad to take you to the prom What cheer, I know that I might look like a slightly older man just shut up and get in the van. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to my... No. <laughs> I'm going to my prom, I'm wearing a top hat. I have a frilly shirt, I'm even wearing spats. Oh, what a night, I was the hit of the dance. Maybe next time I'll try and wear some pants. I love Susie, I love her with my life. Someday I'd like to make her my wife. Every time at prom, I don't know how to reach her. Guess I should probably stop, cause I am her teacher. I am her teacher. I'm an advertiser and I'm a groovy guy I sit at home just thinking of stuff that you can buy Lots of stuff that you don't need that will make fuck me We had some dead guys complain about your language so we can't use that one. Some dead narcoleptic cross-dressing <laughs> yeah. circus yeah. freaks I was feeling frisky, I went for a drive I took all my handguns and shot myself alive I... <laughs> I consider myself quite a fugal frilla But sometimes... Shut up! <laughs> Keep it going! <laughs> I went to the machine to take out some money And then I noticed there was something funny As I came closer, my heart boy, it sank It was an ATM machine for a sperm bank <laughs> I don't file my taxes every single year I guess it's the IRS I really, really fear I guess that's bad of me, doesn't show a lot of class But every time I do, they seem to fuck me up the ass <laughs> I'm a valet parker, this is my valet vest When you give me your car, I'll treat it the best I will drive a thousand miles an hour around the block And you'll be got motherfucking shit <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? My wife just gave birth the other day, and I really supported her all the way. Time went for hour, all oh, hours were passing. Oh, God. <laughs> Let us hear the puberty hoedown. 
When I was a young boy, I thought I'd never change. And then as I got older, I started feeling strange. One day I was standing, and then I saw a girl. And when I saw her booty, it totally rocked my world. Puberty's kind of a hard one without talking about jerking off and stuff like that. <laughs> I like to grab my penis, I pull it all the time. I'm a hoeing and I'm a downing. <laughs> Hoe down. Woo. Public restrooms. I love public restrooms, I love the way they smell. I walk in and take a breath and I just say, oh well. I'll stay in there all day, no matter what it takes. And when I leave, I always eat those tasty urinal cakes. <laughs> then I took a shit. Took a shit. Shoot. Explosive diarrhea. Explosive diarrhea. Blowjob from the janitor. Blowjob from the janitor. <laughs> Blowjob from the janitor. I graduated high school today and. <laughs> I had an interview. Oh, shit. <laughs> I had a blind date. It really was quite bad. It was my first one, for I'm Captain Ahab. You had this date, there were many highs and lows. She really hated it when I shouted, there she blows. Well, I miss the 60s, I miss them quite a lot. I'd sit around listening to music, it was really hot. Well, I do a lot of yard work, that's what's come to pass. Cause it's a cheap way to get my hands on grass. While I was shooting H, <laughs> because I love cocaine, <laughs> I do lots of yard work because I love cocaine. <laughs> I remember the day I lost my virginity. I took my woman and we drove to the city. Let me tell you, brother, she felt like no other. Boy, was I embarrassed when I found out it was my mother. I went to an awful restaurant, they had to use these towels And all the food was awful, tastes like something from your bowels I had to leave so right away, cause it didn't really matter What was I thinking, ordering the poo-poo platter? I think the sensor just exploded up in the booth. <laughs> the way the waiter blew me, I think that he was gay. Thought that he was gay. <laughs> exactly. You never heard of a poo poo platter? You know how I like it it's with those shit talking mushrooms on the side? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So I checked off on my salad. Jack off on my salad. Don't say it, man. Don't say another hold down. Don't you even say another hold down. Don't you go there, sister. I have had a transplant. It did not. Oh, shit. <laughs> one more time. When it comes to hold downs, I'm doing another one. After the first one, I thought that I was done. Feel like such a fool, and I feel like such a twit. This is what I have to do to please the fucking Brit. I have to say that Halloween is my favorite day. When I open up the door, kids and mothers run away. I have no costume, I don't care in the land. I open up the door, I've got my penis in my hand. <laughs> When they cut it, boy, they're such a snob. But I guess in a way, that is just their job. 
They sit backstage and they act all snooty. But I hope they don't cut Melissa's nice tight booty. <laughs> Talking about traffic, it is boring all the time. It's hard to think about something that'll rhyme. Traffic, oh, who cares? It's got no kind of class. Uh, once again, I gotta mention Melissa's ass. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, I just eat veg and fruit And when I eat too many beans, that's when I start to poot I just sit there scooping, and I fall no way <laughs> Mama told me to go to school and learn something great So I became a lawyer, today's my first court date I'm defending people, stop them from doing time Ah, blah, blah, <laughs> I'm gonna say something else <laughs> Okay You got it Now to be a lawyer, you're helping to stop crime you defend the innocent and put away dirt bags who do time. Keep get my balls. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I always have something. I always have something. Oh my God. But, but the stuff that I have is so, we've already been so dirty that I'm bailing on everything that I'm saying now. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, this, so whatever comes out, just comes out. Some people don't like lawyers. They say they're full of crap. Well, I love me the judicial system. I'm not down with that. I love lawyers like Chinese people like them, so. <laughs> OJ Simpson. <laughs> 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 Thought. I really was going to an O.J. Simpson thing, but then as it was coming to my mouth, like Chinese people like dim sum. What? The oh. I apologize, gentlemen. You know what's gonna happen? We're just putting that game down. We're moving on. The night yes. we broke hoedown. We broke hoedown.